how do you navigate between end user requests and relationships? Um, you know, that's part of that building your internal brand, building that relationship so that, uh, you know, people feel comfortable to come to you with their problems. And um, that relationship can really help with maintaining high levels of service and uh, building that solid foundation. So, you know, I, I always, when I was in the office, felt it was nice because you could walk through and people would stop and you'd have friendly chat. And that's part of building that that core relationship and brand. So, um, you know, Nathan, why don't you talk a little bit about that and maintaining a high level of service? Yeah, so for me, this all starts with onboarding. Like I get to be one of the first individuals from our organization that meets a new hire, right? So I've got an opportunity to kind of set the pace and like how the mood, the tone of how like IT deals with the uh, organization and its end users. Um, so I really like to try and establish that open dialogue. Um, I think that's important as well as an understanding of you know what they on, are comfortable with, what systems they've worked with before and how I can support them because it's all in my mind about supporting the end users, right? At the end of the day, like you were saying earlier. Um, so I think that really gets you started off on the right foot and then bringing a positive attitude anytime that I interact with people is what I strive for, right? Because while they may be frustrated, you know, we have to deal with people sometimes in their worst moments when, you know, they're trying to get something done and something right. just crashed, they're stressed out. If you can at least bring a positive attitude, how can I help you? Like um, James was saying before, I understand your frustration. That helps bridge that gap. And just being consistent in that over time really helps establish that foundation where they trust you. James, what do you right. do to build a solid foundation to, you know, bridge that gap between requests and relationships? Well, usually when I interact with them, <clears throat> excuse me, usually in interacting with them, especially now that we're all kind of remote, um, it's really just asking about them, like maybe we're waiting for something to install and then I'll ask them, like, you know, do you have any kids or anything like that? And just like Nathan said with onboarding, we have a unique opportunity to be like one of the first people that they meet at the company. So it's kind of cool to like establish our relationship and know that we care about you as a person and not just the work that you're doing for the company. And you hear a lot of interesting people. Like I'll, one of the questions that I always ask new people is like, okay, how did you find this company or what were you doing before then? And there was a guy that, we actually were members of the same alumni. We went to the same university. There was someone that joined recently that used to be an actress. And I'm like, how did you go from an actress to this? You know? So it's just interesting, like hearing people's story and their journey and like everything that that's happened in their life to bring them to this point, you know? So, and I feel like even just connecting on that level or like, there's like other people in our um, organization that have young kids, like I have two, uh, kids a six-year-old and a two-year-old and like sometimes they're like awesome and they're angels and other times they drive me crazy and we'll like identify it's like oh my kid's doing this too what did you do so like a lot of like on topic stuff just is like kind of a breather from like the regular like ebb and flow of work and also you just make that connection with people so that the next time when they have to deal with you it's like you kind of catch up on like personal things and also just stuff with work so that's kind of yeah. what has helped and that's what helped me. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.